Welcome back to Excel HQ, everybody. Today we will be reviewing the replace and substitute function. Let's get right into it. First off, the replace function. What this function does is replace a certain part of a string with something of your choosing. For example, I have Excel HQ over here on the left spelled incorrectly. Now, if I wanted to just change that R with an E, I could use the replace function. Like so and then open up that bracket. And now the first prompt you're gonna get is for old text. For that, I would select the text that I want to use replace in. And then the second prompt would be the starting number. So for example, if I wanted to replace R, that would be the fourth digit in the text string. If I wanted to replace C, that would be the third. So here I will put four, and then how many characters after the starting number do I want to extend? So if I wanted to include the L with the R, I would put two, but in this case, I only want the R, so I'm going to put one. And then the new text that I'm going to insert there is just an E, and since it's text, I'm going to place it between quotation marks. Close off that bracket, and it will work like that. Excel HQ, perfectly put, instead of with the R. And that is how you use the replace function. Now for the substitute function. This function is similar to the replace function, but it is a bit more specific, and you'll see why soon. Now in this case, I would once again like to replace the R with the E, and I can do so using the substitute function. The first prompt you will get when typing it in is the text prompt. You want to insert the text string that there is something you would like to substitute there in it. Now for the old text, for the old text, it would be the R for me because this is what I would like to substitute out. So in quotation marks, I would put R. And then for the new text, what I would like to replace the R with would be an E. Now what this instant num here indicates is how many times R shows up in the word. Now right now, R only shows up once. So I'm just gonna put one. However, if it showed up twice, it would wanna know which R do you wanna replace? If it's the second R, I would then put two. And I finish that formula up there and I get Excel HQ. Now, for one more example, I used repel as my word and wanted to replace the second E with an A. I can use the substitute function for this. Pick my text, pick the old text I would like to replace, and then put the new text in I wanted to replace it with. So say I want, I don't know, just put an A in there and then the instance of numbers. So I wanna replace the E between the P and the L, not the one right after the R. So I will put two for this. And then that should only replace the second E with an A. And there we go, repel turns into repel. And that is how you use the substitute function. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out some of my others and subscribe. If there's anything else you would like to see in the future, Leave a comment down below.